The idea behind the photographic vehicle was to enable and allow people that were interested or wanted to give it a bash and try and use one of these beautiful cameras to go out there and to see that they can do it. Well, it starts with having a dedicated vehicle. We have a, a driver guide who's a professional and then we also have a photographic host and this person will then show you and tutor you and give you the settings and teach you how to use the camera. Okay, see what I've got there? See where the bird is? Yes. It's on the right hand side. I don't put it in the middle so when the bird's looking, you see where the bird's looking across there so he's not banging his head into the side of the frame. On top of that we've got our gimpros, so we've got a door mount at the front and then three gimpros behind that. Well the gimpro on the vehicle is here for stability and to help novice and advanced photographers get smooth action when panning animals, when uh, general action shots are happening. Works in a really great plane around, forward, back, up and down and you can rotate your camera comfortably on the bracket. I think the photographic safari will take Jackie's safari lodge and Jackie's tree lodge to a level where we're just giving so much more. It's, it's remarkable to see where cameras have come from and where cameras are today. Oh, that's very exciting. We've got the Canon 7D Mark II with 100-400 lenses and we've also got two Nikons with the 80-400 lenses. Just changes game drives. It's not now just a game drive. It's now a whole 24 hours in a game reserve with the privilege of being able to really interact with animals from a very different level. He is giving us an incredible sighting. <laughs> You know, our terrapin hide is, is part of, the, of our lodge. So what we have is we have a situation where you can actually, you've got access to the terrapin hide 24 hours a day. And I think from that point of view, the terrapin hide just changes things. The fact that it's in, the, in our water hole, the fact that it's at eye level, just gives you photos that I've never seen before. I mean, I'm still amazed at what, what, what I'm seeing from our terrapin hide. For the duration of this year, we've organised with Andrew Averley to be our resident photography at certain stages during the year for between 10 and 14 days at a time. So when he's in, in residence, you are then insured of fantastic tuition. He's sharing all his wealth of knowledge and expertise. Basically on the rule of thirds, with the giraffe looking into the empty space. Because you've got a really dark background and it's quite far away. That's where the power of raw photos come in, the photo format which is like a digital negative. When you use the camera to process the images with JPEG, you're 80% there. And he's at our lodge, available to all our guests, which I think is just mind-blowing, actually. <laughs> we can actually take somebody on safari and then actually make him, put him in a position where he can actually go and really enjoy grassroots, a terrapin hide, water, eye level, not only animals, mammals. You're talking about birds, insects, you're talking the full spectrum. And that's what I really think this terrapin hide and photographic safaris is gonna take us. So you're given actual tuition on site at, a, at each wildlife sighting, which I think is really, for me is exciting and very enlightening because all of a sudden it all makes sense and you now suddenly are free, you think, ah, oh, I can take the camera off automatic. You've got it in AV, you're looking at your exposures, you're looking at your um, aperture settings and you actually are, you are taking the picture. It's not the camera putting the bits and pieces together for you. And for me, that is very exciting. <laughs>